All right, y'all, it's been a little minute. It's finna cook up with my new kit, man. Uh, this drop for all my peas. I feel like there's a lot of powerful words that start with P. You know, one of them that's real big to me is principles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just so many, you know, passion, perseverance. I kind of just thought it'd be a cool thing to name every single instrument and sound that I made in this kit with a P. Yeah, but uh, yeah, for all my P's out there, you know, all my players and pimps, man, you know, I had to do it for y'all too, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know how we do it in Texas, you know what I'm saying? Keep the player on these boys, but, but yeah, I got a little cool melody going with one of the instruments, a post from the Proteus up in here. I'm just finna whip up, let's see what happens, you know what I'm saying? Throw a little bit of portal, another P word <laughs> on that, yeah. So uh, let's see what happens. That sound pretty cool. So I want to get another one of these and reverse it. Let's go through these sounds right quick. Uh, this might be cool. It kind of has like, like an underwater type sound to it, you know? All right, so let's just copy that. All right, it's kind of boring and bland right now, but... Consolidate this, reverse it, maybe stretch it, put some reverb on it. Let's see. Yeah, that's already sounding cool. You put a little verb on it to like widen it out a little bit, you know? Give it its own area to shine at. Not that, that's, that's what I'm looking for. I like turning this delay on with the tempo sync. It's, yeah, it's like, does what it says it's a delay but it's just i don't know it's cool it kind of gives it a little bouncer some extra you know what i'm saying texture let's see on the effects um maybe we can uh i want to like yeah it's kind of wide Never mind, let's see how it sounds. Alright, bad, bad. I might try to mess with this brass right quick. drop right here let's see Bam. all right there we go I'm gonna have this the brass coming in on the second part of the hook two hats see what we can come up with wow this one going in delays too like something like that Let's see what happens I just be coming up with ideas on the spot and testing it out you know what I'm saying I didn't really think too much about it Yeah, 
of all these and change it up a little bit. Sounds all right, you know what I'm saying? Just adjust as needed. So it's like a crash got like a chant in it you know what I'm saying it's really cool like that it could be meaner right there you know what I'm saying let's put something else on top of this let's see let's go to there you go Took that scary note out and just put it on the D, D what is that? D sharp. Yeah, D sharp and E. Yeah, that sounds better. And then what we could do is this is I always do this like this really just simple and it adds other shit in there without you having to open up another VST or sound. But just just half time in it and you don't gotta even use gross beat or half time, you know? Alright, cool. Let's see what else we got. Use this and reverse it and use it as like a a swarm transition swarm. Or we can even stretch it if it's too short, but let's see. A little too quick and it's a little like high up and too high frequency. Let's see. You know what? I like to put the reverb on this too with the tempo thing just to give it a little tail so it doesn't cut off so abruptly. Let's see. That's cool. As far as side 808s hitting, all of them are hitting. Like I really been digging the clean 808s a lot. I know I'm known for like making crazy ass sounding 808s, but I just been digging the clean shit, bro. Just lately, man, it's like a trying to crack a cheat code, like the perfect clean 808. You know, but them boys be knocking though. Let's see what happens.
right, let's see. I've been doing that lately too, like not overshadowing the uh, claps with the snare, right? You pick a clap because you like how it sounds and then most of the time you just put a snare on top and it's like kind of defeats the purpose. That's why I've been making a lot of snares with claps in them because if you're going to do that, then might as well just have them both together. on that second part of the hook let's see if we can find a bass to like go over the 808 and then we'll take out the lows that way it'll be like a new 808 yeah like i never really was a big fan of one shots my boy spain actually started showing me like not that I didn't know you could get cool shit with him, but I don't know. He kind of, he kind of just opened up my mind more to him. Was like, bro, you really could do some cool shit with one shots, you know. I just rather would use a VST for the quality. You can definitely hear a difference, especially when you go up and down. And yeah, you could put the stretch, but then it gives it that little grainy stuff, which is cool sometimes. But you know, like I don't know. And I found a I found a bunch of one shots that I had just stashed that I made you know what i'm saying just i don't even remember making these these were like from two or three years ago and they just look i'll show you it's you hear them in the kit like they just already sound crazy by themselves you know what i'm saying <laughs> i guess i was trying to make a one shot kit and just it was like nah i'm good you, know you don't hear the, you don't hear these types you don't hear these type of one shots. You know, it's always like the same bells and plucks. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's people out there with cool ass one shot kits. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I was like, man, all these got texture and movement and shit. I was like, this is perfect for what I be trying to do. I was like, I'm just going to throw them in this kit. Because it, it was just a drum kit at first. But then I was like, man, this could really be something where like y'all don't really got to open up anything else but this kit. You know what I'm saying? That's really what I wanted to give y'all something like that you could just use straight up and ain't got to worry about nothing else. As you can see, we making a banger right here and this all we using is just this kit. You know what I'm saying? So let's see how this sounds, man. Yeah, I already got that. And then we're going to take out the, uh, the bass on this, the low end. See what I'm saying? It's going to be crazy. May or may not work, but that's the whole point of making beats is just experimenting. You know, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, just move on. But let's see what, how it sounds. <laughs> it sounds cool. We got to make this its own channel. Let me make this unique. So that's 14. All right, we could do this. All right, and then take it off of this one. All right, let's see. better than I expected so we gonna run with that and then for the verse let's uh let's do something cool up in this motherfucker maybe we can keep this or you know what we could do what can we do let's make this unique wow and then we'll speed this up we'll take this out yeah you know what I'm saying I don't know why it does that uh FL y'all need I don't know what the purpose of that maybe it has a great purpose I just don't know what it is right now it has to have a purpose so let's see See, that already sounds cool and then we're gonna get something layer on top of that 
And then it's gonna be a wrap, and then we just gotta do a bridge, and we're gonna be gravy. All right, let's see what else we got. Let's go up and Proteus sounds and see. Da -na 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 -na. I'm, I'm hearing that, so let's see how this sounds. No, no. I just wanna, I'm gonna do something a little bit darker. do like a cool string like cinematic type of orchestral type little pattern right quick let's see it might not be the perfect string for it i think i got another one over here Sounds pretty cool, y'all. Let's see. Let's see what's up. Take it out. shit that I use for the brass right here yeah we're gonna speed this shit up you know just so it's always building and you're giving the listener something new they're like oh shit like you know there's a lot of beats that's cool just having the same loop throughout you know and a lot of them it hits like that but for me personally I like to make this shit like a movie or just something like a show like just building up with intensity and suspense you know what I'm saying keep listeners engaged you know what I'm saying? That's what works for me. You know, you do you. But if y'all like doing this shit too, then that's what's up because it just doesn't get boring that way. You know what I'm saying? You just, it's always something new popping up and gives you another reason to like the beat or just, you might like that part more. Like, man, wait till it does this. You know, you telling your boy or whatever, like, bro, it gets crazy. Watch, check this shit out. All right, let's see how this sound. It may or may not work. Here we go. <laughs>
I think you get the point, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's a cool little cook up, man. I just wanted to show y'all some features of the kit and everything. If you wanna go ahead and check it out, you know what I'm saying? The link is in the description. It ain't too bad on your pockets, you know what I'm saying? So try to keep that in mind for y'all, you know, but I do come with quality all the time. So, hey, you want quality, you're gonna have to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? So you get what you pay for. You want a $5 kit, go ahead and grab that shit too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, to each his own, but yeah, just want to show y'all a little something. Like I said, man, you know, it's been a little minute. Uh, you know, I just been figuring shit out, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, a constant thing in life, you know, change is like the only constant in life, you know what I'm saying? So just learning to adjust and, you know, when shit don't go your way, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no reason to get down about it, you know what I'm saying? You just got to, you know... Fig, you know, figure out a new way. Just pick up the pieces and uh, learn from your mistakes. Learn from things. When it doesn't go your way, you know what I'm saying? And let it make you better, not bitter. You know what I'm saying? One of the things I like to say is like, um, you know, bitter has the word I in it, right? And when you take the word, you can take the letter I out of bitter, you know what I'm saying? And, and instead of it being all about me, 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 I, right? And you replace it with E. You know, it's better. And E could stand for everybody. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just about you. It's about everybody. And the way you can have an impact on everybody, not just your own life, is, uh, you know, becoming better, becoming the best version of yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to ever, you know, let something, let some outside circumstance determine who I am or what I'm going to do in life. You know what I'm saying? So. I hope y'all can get something out of that and apply it to your own life, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to keep coming with it, man. It's been a little minute. It's been too long. I was like, man, I got to get back doing the YouTube thing. You know, I really just missed, you know, sharing what I know with y'all. And I'm going to try to incorporate a lot more than just um, the music stuff. You know, I'm, I don't just like music. It's just like all of us. Like, you know, there's more to us than just making beats and making music or making sounds you know we like other shit i love fitness i love nutrition like eating right and all that you know i love like psychology and science and like uh figuring out you know why we act the way we do like why humans behave the way they do and using that shit you know what i'm saying to better yourself in life and business whatever you choose to you know what i'm saying figure out why you do the shit that you do and what you want to improve on what you need to improve on you know what I'm saying? So I always, I, I, I would always like ask myself, how am I going to incorporate it into all this? You know, because I didn't know if y'all were interested in it as well. But then I was like, man, I really don't give a damn. Like, and not nothing against y'all. It's like, I'm just going to talk about, you know, what I like. And for the people, you know, I'm going to talk about what I'm into. And for the people that's into that too, we're well, cool. There we go. There we go. You know what I'm saying? That's why y'all are here. And uh, for the people who ain't, that's cool too. You know what I'm saying? I ain't judging nobody. You know, this is, these are the things that excite me and get me going and want to keep, you know, figuring shit out in life and getting better. Not just at beats and sound design, but in all areas, you know, because I truly believe if I could tell y'all one thing, you know, that I think will impact y'all for the rest of y'all's life is like, you know, your talent will get you into a room, right? But your character will keep you there. And at the same time, your character, you know, if you build your character up, it's going to come with discernment. And that means, you know, knowing how to peep games. So, yeah, your talent will get you into a room, but your character will keep you there. But also, it could let you know if you ain't supposed to be in that room at all. You know what I'm saying? Ain't every opportunity a good opportunity. You know, all money ain't good money. So, if you get into a room where, you know, people ain't living... Uh, you know how you live and they just moving on a different note, you know, that's cool I ain't I ain't telling you to judge anybody but you gonna have to make that decision You know what I'm saying and be like, you know, do I just do it for the money? Or you know, like you got to know when it's time to leave and when it's time to stay, you know, what I'm saying so I think that'll go on You know, that's something y'all could carry with y'all throughout life and pretty much any situation not just you know getting you know placement opportunities or anything you know you got to watch out who you kick it with you know what i'm saying you gotta you gotta stay around people who are gonna uplift you and encourage you you know what i'm saying and, and help you uh, to believe in yourself you know when you feeling like damn what should i do like i don't know what to do you know what i'm saying so 
if anything, that's really what I want to instill in y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, you could be a great music producer, whatever, but if you ain't got character, bro, it don't mean shit to me. I don't care what you've done. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that's just how I move, and uh, that's the people I want to be around. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, that's going to go a long way. So I hope y'all take that in and, and do, what you, do what you want with it. But, yeah, it really helped me when I started learning these things reading books you know uh i'm reading this book right now um, hope y'all can see that you know what i'm saying but uh yeah I see, i've been seeing this in videos for a little minute i seen nipsey talking about it I heard, I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all seen that video of him talking about it too but yeah it's a pretty good book man you know um i don't agree with everything in it you know what i'm saying but like 95 percent i do it's just it's not even that I don't agree with it. There's some shit he says is kind of like, oh, that's kind of crazy, bro. But, you know, I'm still open to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a, one of my favorite quotes is like, um, the sign of an intellectual mind is the ability to entertain a thought without judgment. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of the times we can get in our own way if we study just like, nah, nah, fuck that. That ain't right. You know, like. Just hold up, let me let me step back for a second and really think about this, you know? And you ain't gotta take what somebody else says as like doctrine and live your whole life by it. Just take what works for you, you know what I'm saying? And what you could apply to your life at the moment. You know what I'm saying? But it's a really good book, if uh, especially for y'all boys out there who really ain't too good around females, you know, it's gonna help you, help you uh, learn how to think and do what you need to do as a man, you know? I was, I ain't really never had no problem with that, but it's a good reminder, you know, for people, uh, you know, for people like me. And also if you, you know, do have a little struggle in that area, you know, it'll tell you how to move as a man and, you know, how to stay sturdy in that and solid in that. And uh, yeah, just be a man like how you supposed to be because the world's getting crazy out here. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited to do this. This, I really could talk like this all day. And like, I was on a call the other day with my boy, uh, man, uh, what's his name? Jamal. Jamal, uh, he go by Code Beats. Shout out to, uh, to Code Beats, man. My boy Jamal. He been rocking with me since day one, man. Since I've been doing this sound design shit like seven, eight years ago. He been, every time I drop something, he copy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not shouting him out just for that, but I'm just saying he been a real supporter. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I was talking to him. And uh, I was kind of just in this weird place of like not knowing what to do next. And, uh, you know, I, you know, when I get to talking to somebody, you know, we talk about shit we like and this and that. Right. And I started talking like this to him and he was like, man, bro, he's like, hey, don't no one talk like you. He was like, man, you got to do a, a, a PG interview. I was like, shit, I'm, I'm 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 ready. You know what I'm saying? What's up? But uh, not that he's he's not with PG or nothing, but he was just saying, like, you know, you should really do an interview with somebody at least. Like, you got to get this shit out there. And then after that conversation, that's really what was like, it just hit me like, bro, like, stop thinking about it so hard, dog. Just go go on there and make them just, you know, make a motherfucking video, add this shit in there. Just talk like how you would to your boy, you know? So uh, that really encouraged me and let me know, like, you know, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. And even my homegirl, my homegirl Callie, shout out to my homegirl Callie. She always be praying for me and everything like that. And while she was praying, she was like, I'm hearing God say that, you know, you have like an anointing like with your voice and you're not using it. And it just all made sense. I was like, damn, like I ain't been, you know, I ain't been dropping game like I should. Like, of course, when I'm talking to people like one on one, like in Discord or in person, I be doing that shit, but like, bro, you got a YouTube, you reach more people, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying I'm going to be y'all savior or anything like that. Go to Jesus for that, because Jesus is my Lord and Savior, you know what I'm saying? And that's that's a whole nother topic, but I'm not trying to be, put myself on a pedestal or nothing like that. I'm just trying to give y'all some game where I can, so where, you know, if it helps you, that's great, you know? And, and I used to say... You know, nothing is going to stop me from being successful. But now I say nothing is going to stop me from having an impact. 
And that's that's really what's most important to me because I want to leave this shit better than when I first came. You know what I'm saying? I want to give boys game that, you know, when I was y'all's age, I didn't have people around like that. You know what I'm saying? But all the shit that I learned throughout the years, man, I, I, I just have this urge and this passion to like spread that shit. So that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if uh, this interests you, I'm glad because there's plenty more. And like I said, I could talk about this shit all day. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, fuck with your boy. You already know what to do. I'll be back and I'm going to holler at y'all later, man. Y'all stay up. Peace.